Hey guys, so every year I do this video, Have I Met My Hair Goals? This is going to be the fourth year and I've actually created a playlist on my channel. So if you would like to check that out, I'll leave the link below so you can go through memory lane with me if you'd like to. But I just like to do this just to reflect on the year and see how I've gone with my goals and just to kind of like set some new ones mentally for the new year and then see how that goes. So I'm just going to be taking you through for 2014. I'm very excited to do Have I Met My Hair Goals for 2014. Stay tuned if you'd like to see more. So, um, this is going to be a bit different because it's not necessarily going to be about hair growth. It's going to just be about a few things that I've learned throughout going natural. Um, first of all, confidence has been a big thing for me ever since I big chopped back in April the 9th. I just felt absolutely self-conscious. I had never felt that self-conscious before. And it was really hard for me just to adjust to just being natural. Even my hair, like it took a while for it to kind of like flow because it was so used to having a heavy um, straight hair attached to it. So it was very hard for it to just sit nicely. And it was kind of hard at first, but as the months went on, it developed into a beautiful thing called self-confidence and self-love. And it's a journey that I'm still on. But I'm just going to share with you a few tips just to help you and just to let you know how I've been doing on this whole journey. So the first thing I would say is that knowing who you are in Christ and just knowing and believing in the Most High that created us and just knowing that he, being rest assured that he made us beautiful just the way we are and there's no need for alter alterations or anything like that because we are all beautiful. Um, definitely prayer has helped through this as well just praying for length but aside from that just praying for the confidence and the the self-love and the belief that you know I am beautiful the way I am and you gave me this hair for a reason and you know if anyone doesn't like it that's their problem and not my problem and it's I find it amazing right now because like I feel a lot more confident in wearing my hair just the way it is and especially when it just gets a lot kinkier like because I do a twist out and then I'll let it like get kinkier over the course of the days and I got um, a beautiful compliment from a man and a woman a black man and a woman just stopped me and they were like wow you beautiful empress teach these young ladies how to rock their natural hair you're beautiful and all of this just showering showering me with compliments and my hair was at its kinkiest then so I, just, I don't know I just see it as this is me um, and you're the one that's crazy if you think that there's something wrong with my hair I'm not the one crazy for being confident to wear it you're the one that has a problem not me because God made no mistakes okay and I'm going to rock my hair with confidence so that's just how I feel in my heart of hearts right now it's still a journey of course I do have some days where it's not all, all that great but I rock with it and I just know that God makes no mistakes I'm definitely seeking tips YouTube and Instagram has been a great wealth of information and just help um, just with trying new things seeking new tips on how to do this and that how to accessorize you know wearing scarves I'll look at twist outs or wash day routines and just juggle and see what works best for me so definitely just looking at tips there's so much information out there on the internet right now um i wish it was like that a few years ago but it's really an amazing time for a natural to go natural which is probably why it's such an epidemic just because the information is there the support is there the guidance is there and people are just showing their journeys online so i find that really amazing and just take advantage of that ladies if you've just newly been chopped i would say also like when I first went natural, I always ask, you know, my family or friends or stuff like that, like, how does it look? What do you think? But what I would say is that ask for opinions, of course, because you want to see what looks right, but don't rely too heavily on opinions. I had to get to a stage where I just said to myself, I'm going to do what works for me. I'm not going to ask for opinions today. I'm just going to rock it. And if I look crazy to someone in public, then that's not my problem. And I'm going to just learn it and... You know, it may not look nice um, at the at that point, but I'm just still learning and growing in myself. So I think it's really important not to um, 
rely on people's opinion you can ask here and there but don't rely too heavily just because you need to learn and see for yourself just how it was when I was texturized I knew what worked for me I knew how to alter things but because I had newly big chops I had to relearn things over again so yes ask for opinions but don't rely too heavily on anyone's opinion the only opinion that matters is God's opinions made us all beautiful and he knows why he gave us this hair so don't be fooled yeah <laughs> just know that you're beautiful with your hair and just don't ever feel any way about anything to do with the media or stereotypes or any negative connotations that people try to attach to your hair have the confidence and just know that you're beautiful and there's a reason that you were created the way that you were created also just like that deep acceptance for your hair with yourself just spending and this can be done by spending time with your hair i know some people say that they don't have time for your for their hair which i don't know it just whatever works for you but sometimes i just feel like people don't want to take that extra step or be bothered to spend time with their hair but i really do and throughout my hair journey relaxed texturized and now natural i have always been open to spending time with my hair so just like grow and fall in love with your hair have that deep deep acceptance of your hair and how it is what it does what it cannot do i did a video on things my falsy hair cannot do but um I, yeah <laughs> you can go see that video if you want but that was a time where i was very ignorant i just learned to embrace exactly what my hair could do and just accept it for what it is learn new things ladies all natural hair is beautiful we're all beautiful but I've fallen deeply in love with my faulty hair and I'm just like I would not trade this in for the world and you know when like some people say like whose hair would you rather have for a day and then people will say this and that I don't want anyone's hair the only thing I will say is that I'll like maybe longer hair but you know it's all good I'll wait I can wait just have that deep um, willingness and openness to understand your hair and I just think that you will definitely go far with that so that's all I have to say guys for this year um, have I met my hair goals I would say yes because I big chopped earlier than I expected and I've grown in confidence with my hair and I feel no way just to rock it the way it is so if you would like check out the old videos of um, have I met my hair goals and yeah also I wanted to share with you a website I think it's called the natural hair directory and it's like a list of all these ladies that you can check out and go and find their channels and see what they're up to I think it's really cool um, they contacted me and I was also featured on that so I just thought I'll let you know that if you want to go and see other people or you're not too sure of who to watch or you want to watch someone new there's like a whole list of people on the website and you can check them out and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching guys and i love you god bless bye